everyone welcome to day 25 of the vegan weight watchers challenge so i am actually having a couple of things of um well one is leftovers and one is not leftovers but anyways so i have a couple things to take with me so i've got the last quarter of the tuna noodle casserole and this will be six points so i'm taking this with me my husband made um french fries and veggie burgers and stuff for the kids for supper tonight so there is a veggie burger left and I'm taking that with some um, yellow wax beans. And this particular veggie burger is one that is four points. So between those two, that's 10 points right there. And the thing I wanted to talk to you about is I found this funny looking little fruit at um, the Asian grocery store and it looks kind of like a, a little miniature potato. And it was really, really hard when I bought it and now it's actually pretty soft. Um, so I think it's ready to eat now. It's called, I don't know how to say this, but it's M-A-M-E and then S-A-P-O-T-E. Mommy sapote? Mom, I'm not sure how to say that. Anyway, so it's supposed to be like a cross between 5,000 different fruits flavor wise. So I'm not actually sure what this thing tastes like. So I'm going to take it with me to work and I'm going to try it. And I'll let you know if this is like the next best thing ever or if it's kind of not so awesome. Um, I know you can order these on Amazon, but I can't imagine spending that much on shipping fruit from one place to another. But anyway, I'm going to eat that. It's, it's really pretty. It's kind of funny and cute but i'm going to eat that tonight um i'm not making any food to take with me this is just what's going to go and then tomorrow morning when i come home it will be time to open presents with kids so i have i've had 10 points with my food that i'm taking with me and then my husband is going to make um kind of like caramel rolls but anyway vegan donut holes with some caramel on top of them that he bakes that's what we do every year for christmas for the kids um and i will probably eat one of those when i get home which will be I'm not sure, but we're just going to say the other 13 points that I'm supposed to have for the day because they're probably a lot. So that's it for me for right now, guys, and I will talk to you again in the morning. Alrighty, guys, so it is Christmas morning, um, and we are doing presents, and I did eat a couple of the little donut hole thingies, so I'm well over my points for the day, but it was delicious, let me tell you. So my husband made them um, from a recipe that I have that we've just veganized, and it, basically the main ingredients are um, mashed potatoes, actually, in the donuts. Um, the part that makes them so freaking unhealthy is that they're uh, deep fat fried. It's the only thing that we make in our deep fat fryer, which we used to make like fried fish and french fries and all that kind of stuff, and now we just bake potatoes to make french fries, and we don't obviously eat fried fish anymore. <laughs> um, so it's the one thing that we use our fryer for, like we use the fryer once a year to make the donut holes. Um, for Christmas, and Anthony didn't have enough room in the pan to make, uh, the caramel rolls, like, for all of them, so we had some plain ones, and I actually liked them better, um, but the caramel was really good. He makes it out of, um, brown sugar and soy milk and, um, pulverized beans, like, blended beans, so it was delicious. The kids loved it. It was wonderful. So last night, let me tell you about this. I cut into my little mommy sapotes, however you say that, um, and yeah, it smelled like alcohol, like totally smelled fermented. So, and it's the ones I've seen online are like reddish inside and this was like brown. So I decided not to eat that because it sounded really scary. Um, yeah, I didn't eat it. I'm really bummed because I really wanted to eat it. It looked really good. But next time maybe I won't let it get quite so ripe because it was very, very soft. My aunt, my husband accidentally um, poked it with his finger, like almost put his finger into it because it was so soft. So anyways, um... I am going to continue to be up for most of the day, but um, I'm not probably going to vlog anymore today because I'm just going to hang out with my kids. And for lunch, we're having either minestrone soup or uh, a, an enchilada chili soup, both of which are just all vegetable. So that is what the majority of us are having for lunch today. And I think there's a vegetable tray and a fruit tray as well. My husband put those together yesterday. Samantha helped him significantly. And actually, I think my mother-in-law helped too. So that's cool. But, um, that is it for me. I probably will have some veggies and I'll have some soup that has nothing but veggies in it. So those don't really count for points, but I'll probably end up going to bed maybe around, maybe a little bit before supper time. Um, usually by the time I've been up for about 24 hours, I'm usually about ready to be done. But anyways, guys, I hope you had a fabulous day with your friends and family and however that works out for you. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow.